Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today, I have on a new wig, but I'm, what I want to show you is not only this wig, this is the Sky from Noriko in Caramel Cream. Caramel Cream, beautiful little wig. Again, the bangs are done perfectly for me, even with my three inch forehead. But what I want to get into is mid-length wigs. Now, I, I'm classifying this one as a mid-length wig because it comes down so long in the back. And it's not exactly a short wig. It's more of a mid-length, maybe a shorter mid-length, but it's really more of a mid-length. And I've got nine lovely mid-length wigs to share with you today um, for summer. And this is the first one. And this is the Sky by Norigo. Here's the front, Norigo. And here's the back, the Sky in Caramel Cream. And I really like this wig. It's a really great, beautiful, flattering wig. It really is. It's flattering for anybody. I think any face shape can wear this particular wig and I think it would be great for summer. Just a beautiful longer length that you would enjoy for the summer. Now I'm going to take it off and show you the, first of all I'm going to turn around and show you the back. There we go. That's how beautiful that sky is in the back. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. See how long it comes down? It is a longer short wig, a longer short wig. So I wouldn't think that this would be um, a short short or a pixie. But anyways, I'm going to take this off and I'm just going to take a real quick peek because I'm going to review this sometime later. But here's the front. It does have quite a bit of lace and permatease in the front. It has bra and strap closures. That's what I was looking to find. So it is a basic cap. It's a beautiful color. Look at that coconut caramel, I mean cream. Caramel cream, not coconut. Caramel cream. Just gorgeous, gorgeous wig. And I really, really like this particular one. Let me get my tag with it together. I like to keep my wigs and my tags and everything else together. But Norico does put the name inside the wig for you. So I'm not going to get this one confused or lost because they do that. Okay, so the next one would be another mid-length wig. And this is the Jade wig. You remember in Vanilla Bean. And this is by Renee of Paris. I'm giving it a little shake as I always do. And put it on. So this is a really nice longer wig, mid-length, I would say, truly mid-length. I don't know if this classifies as long or mid-length with you, but I sort of think it's mid-length. I don't know, maybe longer wig. But this jade is really easy to wear. The bangs are fine. The, the length is good. And sometimes... In the summer, you just need a longer wig that you can use for ponytails and for evening and so forth. Now, this wig is going to go up into a pony really easy for you. It does have the nice length, so that's not going to be a problem. It's going to be easy for you to wear like this. So, if I have a blue one, I'll attach it. And this would be a great way to wear this particular wig. Look how pretty that is in the back, just like that. And automatically, you're going to get some pieces hanging down in the front with this one. So this one here is the Jade, and it is in, it's a little bit longer one, but it's mid-length. I Vanilla Bean is the color, and I just think it's great because of the length and you can wear pony with it or any way else you want to wear it. Um, you could clip it back easily if you wanted to. 
like that. And maybe one over on that side if you wanted it to. You can wear it behind your ear if you'd like. That would work too. So there's many different ways to wear this particular wig and I think this one would be a great one for summer. Um, it does have permatease, open weave, and bra straps. And I will leave a link to these below where I've actually reviewed them. So if you would like to know more about these particular wigs, you can find it on, in my review of them. So let's put her tag and uh, put her back together. And then another one that I have is going to be the Audrey. I think the Audrey. So I think that was one of the ones that I had for this series. Actually not. This one's a shorter one. So I must have just had that down there. This is the Ambitious Wig. The Ambitious Wig. Now you notice me opening, closing in bags. Sometimes I keep them stored in bags. And this is a beautiful light red wig. Beautiful, beautiful color. Light red, gorgeous. It's a longer one. Again, mid-length. Not terribly long, but mid-length, I would say. Maybe longer. Okay. So, you can see how sometimes the longer wigs get tangled up. This one has got the beachy waves in it, but I've got to get the tangles out the best I can. And it has the bangs that come down and then just hang pretty straight. But it does have these nice beachy waves that I think is so pretty. So, anyways, there's the Ambitious and it is in light red, light red. There it is. And this is by Eva Gabor, Eva Gabor. This is the Ambitious and it, it's got these beautiful waves for summer that you just can't beat. Just gorgeous, beautiful waves. Um, mostly finger style this and just let it hang in any kind of a way. There we go. Again, this is one that will go into a pony quite nicely for summer. You know, we need ponies even in the summertime. And this one here, of course you have to, this one here tends to get tangled a little bit. It does, and I've noticed that. And so sometimes you can, detangling it with conditioner spray or a little Simply Styling will do it and get things worked out for you. But this is just putting it back really quickly in a pony and you can see how nicely pretty this one's going to hang down for you in a pony so um this is the ambitious and i have a link to this one as well and i'm going to put her back in the bag she's in storage i got her out of storage Storage for me just means that I have too many out and I just have to put her away somewhere just for the time being. It doesn't mean I don't want her. It doesn't mean that at all. It just means I'm storing her. And then I put her, I have her organized in a particular spot so I can go grab her when I need it. So now this one is another Noriko wig and this one is the Alva, the one that I just had on in Melted Marshmallow yesterday which I had lots of fun with yesterday. I just enjoyed wearing the Alva. This is truly a mid-length wig right here. Lovely, lovely wig. I reviewed it yesterday and I gave this wig five stars because it is just great. It's got 
just about everything that you would want. The bangs are spectacular and pretty. And it just, this wig just hits all the buttons. It is just beautiful. And like I say, I think it gives you a nice Suzanne Summers look. <laughs> to me, it really does give you that kind of vibe. So if you like her, if you like her wigs, you know, she's around 76 now, something like that. So I don't want to put age on her, but she's around my age. And so this is a spectacular. She loves these blunt haircuts like this, and it's kind of layered around the face. She loves to wear those with the bangs. So anyways, that is the Alva by Norico in Melted Marshmallow. Melted Marshmallow. So we're going to be going through them rather quickly. If you really want a more in-depth review, um, I have them all except for the sky. I haven't reviewed that yet. I will coming up. This is the Paula Young uh, Rowan in Vanilla Swirl. We loved the Rowan. I love the rootedness on this. The rootedness is just spectacular on this wig. So, really pretty wig. Beautiful mid-length wig. Just gorgeous. Lovely, lovely wig for summer. Beach type wig. I really love it. Beautiful profile with this one. Gorgeous. It frames the face like that. It's gorgeous. I love it. Paula Young has hit this one out of the park. Gorgeous wig. I don't think I had to trim the bangs on this one either. But it's just, I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous wig. And there is, I will link, leave my links to my reviews in the description box below. The next one is Aesthetica. And this one was the Heather in light auburn with gold blonde highlights. Light auburn. See, got a little bit of a red going on there with gold blonde highlights. Okay, so let's see what she's looking like. All right. Here's my comb. I was looking for my comb and brush. I put things down. Do you do that? Put things down on yourself and you don't know where you've left them? <laughs> I do that all the time. Okay, so this is one that's just really, really pretty. This is the Heather in Light Auburn. It's a mid-length. You can see that. And it's just really gorgeous. Turn around and show you the back. <clears throat> Light auburn, sort of a strawberry blonde. Look at all that golden blonde. And then in the front it's more auburn. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. The bangs are uh, right there. There we go. The bangs are fine. I think I, I think I trimmed these. Tried to once. But this one is a beautiful, beautiful wig. I really like it. I think this one is great for summer. And I think I would just really, really like to wear this down at the beach or down at the lake or something for some evening get together. This one can be tank turned into a pony if you like. Kind of a messy pony with um Pieces hanging down. 
So those have a little pony you can do that with, and that would look absolutely spectacular with this hairdo as well. So I liked this one. This one is the Heather from Aesthetica. All right, moving on. Lovely, lovely group of wigs here, mid-length, mid-length. Now we're coming on my favorite crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser is a great wig, no doubt about it. It is a lace front wig. So it takes a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of working if you've never had one. It feels a little scratchy at first, but what you do is you take your fingers and once you get it into place, there we go. And you and you mash it against your forehead like that, and then they will not bother you. That lace front will not bother you. But you're going to have one great looking wig. This one is a little bit more high end, I will admit. I splurged on this one about a year ago, a year or two ago. And it's still going for me. I mean, it's still a beautiful, beautiful wig. Looking great. Even after all this time. I still love the crowd pleaser. And this is in the color Biscuit. And this is Raquel Welsh. Raquel Welsh. I really love this wig. I like Raquel Welsh wigs. I really do. I think she makes a great, great wig. Um, if you go sometimes to wig shops, they don't carry them for whatever reason. Don't know. Don't care. They just don't. And um, you just have to deal with that. And um, It's going to be, the prices at wig shops are going to be slightly inflated anyways because of their overhead. All right. They just have to. The last one is the Bailey, and I love the Bailey. This Bailey is Renee of Paris in Creamy Toffee. Creamy Toffee. Really love this one. And I have to, just takes a minute. With mid-length wigs, it does take more than a minute to get them in shape. More than a minute. Just be patient. It'll come. There it is. It'll come. Just be patient with it. Make sure you get it right and your ear tabs are squared. Get it on right. Otherwise, it's going to look wonky. <laughs> But this has got beautiful pieces that come down and frame the face. Gorgeous, gorgeous hairstyle. I love the Bailey. Mid-length, gorgeous, gorgeous hairstyle. If you don't have a mid-length, you need one. If you don't have a longer one, you need one just for the pony. This is the Bailey in... Creamy Toffee by Renee of Paris. And it's just, this is just a gorgeous wig. The, the bangs are perfect. They don't need any adjusting whatsoever. I just, I really like this wig. It's really perfect. And you're not going to lose this one because Renee of Paris puts the names of her wigs on the tag. So, this is the gorgeous, gorgeous Bailey, and this is the last one in my series. I think there were nine of them all together, nine. But this is how beautiful this one is, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous looking wig. Just so pretty. All right, I wanna to talk to you about something else today. I wanna to talk to you about Good Friday. Today is Good Friday. I know this video is going long because I did nine wigs and I'm going to talk to you about Good Friday. But Jesus had been arrested. That's where we left off yesterday. 
Jesus has been arrested even though he did nothing wrong. He is taken to Pontius Pilate, who can't find any wrong in him. He doesn't know why Jesus is in front of him. Jesus is flogged with a whip containing metal barbs, metal barbs designed to tear the flesh away from the bone. That's what it's designed to do and to make your skin <coughs> raw. A crown of thorns is placed upon his head. Blood, sweat, and tears flow down his face. He is condemned to die by crucifixion on the cross. He is forced to carry that cross on his raw back, skinless back. All the skin has been pretty much ripped off of his back and the pain is just overwhelming. He looks around and he sees some of his disciples and remember, they were confused. They don't know what to make of this. He is the son of God. How is this happening to him? They hammer nails into his hands and into his feet. And there are big, long spikes, really. Not just little nails, but big, long spikes. It's difficult to breathe. And he's very thirsty. He denies the wine and vinegar. He looks at his mother and he asks John, his disciple, to care for her. Jesus forgives the sins of the prisoners on either side of him and says that he will see them in heaven. He prays and asks his father to forgive all these people for they don't know what they're doing. The sky becomes black because God spread darkness over that area over that place from noon to 3 p.m. From noon to 3 p.m. it was dark. Then a great earthquake hits and Jesus tells his Father in heaven that it is finished. Jesus is dead on the cross. They take him down and bury him in a cave with a large boulder in front. He who knew no sin became sin for us. He died that we might live with him in heaven. And that's my story for today. There's my painting of Jesus on the cross right there. And I have another one that I've done. And this is the three crosses inside of an eye, eyeball. This is an eye. So you can see that, that I painted. So, today is Good Friday, and I wish you a great Good Friday. I don't know why we call it good. It's just the something that came about, Good Friday. There's nothing particular good about it. Jesus died on the cross this day for your sin and for mine. So, I hope you'll trust him today. I hope you will. And that's my story for today. Bye.